Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I am Chef Marcus Giuliano and I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is the top 50 mistakes that small restaurateurs make. And uh, we're on number 10. They don't understand the value to acquire a new guest. Okay. As I mentioned in the previous video, in tip number 9, that the lifetime value of your customer is a five-year average of their spendings. Mine happens to be $6,900. So most restaurateurs look at this and say, well, you know, I wouldn't give away a free birthday entree. Um, I wouldn't give away a free birthday entree because it's not worth it, okay? I, I don't want to give stuff away. I don't want to um, entice them in with a $25 gift certificate or a $10 gift certificate or whatever it is. But let me ask this question. If you can get somebody new in your door for $25, Retail, which is really only a restaurant size, it's half of that with labor and food, right? Um, if you could get them in the door and have them spend $6,900 over the next five years, I mean, honestly, if I could get a customer who would spend $6,900 in the next five years, I would pay $250. I'd pay, if I could get a qualified lead, I would pay $250 for that customer. I mean, this is a no brainer. This is how the cost of a customer acquisition is so important. A lot of restaurateurs don't understand. They place ads, there's no traceability in the ads, they, they can't monitor what's happening, they waste all this money, two, three, four, five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars on an ad in a print somewhere or radio, and they don't know where their customers or guests are coming from. They have no clue. And when you ask them to give away something, they're like, I can't give anything away. Well, you just gave away all that money to an ad and you're not even sure if it's working. You're not even sure the lifetime value of your customer. You're not even getting them in a database. You're not even communicating to them. You're not getting them back in the door. It's like, what have you been doing? No wonder why you're in this vicious cycle in your restaurant. No wonder why you're working so hard. No wonder why that's what's happened. No wonder why you don't have time for yourself. No wonder why you don't take vacations. No wonder why you don't trust your staff. Because you don't understand a lot of these basic, simple things that are so easy to understand that I've learned, perfected, and mastered over the last 10 years. So when it comes to acquiring a new customer, you have to know a lot of things to get to that point. So you just can't take this step number 10 and saying, well, you know, I'm going to pay XYZ for a new customer. You know, Groupon, all those daily deals, those are a great way to acquire new customers. Now, not every time you do Groupon, you're going to get a brand new customer. You're going to get a lot of your customers you're going to get a lot of your current guests who are buying it because they saw you. You're going to get people that just deal hop. They'll, every week they'll go buy a deal or every month they'll go buy a deal and just go to that restaurant. But if you can get them in the door, then you have to take over now and do, have your loyalty program work, communicate to them, give them a bounce back offer, give them a birthday offer, give them a, an award, a reward somehow, communicate to them, let them know how fun your restaurant is, how you are in your personal life, how your family is, and even the staff and all these kinds of things. And, oh, and by the way, what's going on at the restaurant, right? You want to tell them that? The more chances of you acquiring that customer through a deal like Groupon is massively massively higher and that's what you want. You never want to do a Groupon or do a daily deal like that and say goodbye to them after they've given your money with no trace of any record. That's the worst mistake you could possibly make. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I hope this helped you. Thank you for watching.